It smells like somebody with a lot of money, maybe wearing a cashmere sweater. It's giving off cashmere vibes for sure. welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Courtney and if you are not subscribed take a minute to hit that subscribe button and if you're already subscribed you know I appreciate you as you guys can see by the title I'm doing a quick review of the new Tory Burch essence of dreams collection this is what it looks like so I blindly made the decision to purchase a bottle of perfume just simply off the scent notes and I've never really did that before, but the more and more that I get into the perfumes, I kind of know what scents I like and what scents I don't. So I wanted to test myself to see if I can blindly make this purchase and I would love it. So I ended up choosing this scent right here, Sublime Rose. So today I'm just gonna go through the scents with you guys. Since I have the little sample pack, I can let you guys know my opinion of all the scents. And I want to see if I made the right decision in buying this one. So the first one that we're gonna try in this collection is Divine Moon. Divine Moon was inspired by the essence of peace. So if you guys are looking for a little bit of peace in your life, maybe this is the scent for you, but we're about to try it. It smells fresh. It smells good. It smells very light. I don't know if you guys know, but when I smell certain scents, a color comes to mind. And when I smell this scent, a peach color comes to mind. This scent kind of reminds me of Versace Yellow Diamond, if any of you guys have that but a little bit more softer. For all my perfume people, the top notes for Divine Moon is Bergamot and Rhubarb. It smells really good, but I wanna continue on to see if I made the best choice in choosing Sublime Rose. The next scent is, what is this? We're gonna do Electric Sky. Electric Sky just kinda already sounds blue, so I'm gonna use the blue color and we're gonna see if I'm right. Mmm, definitely giving blue for sure. Electric Sky, I guess that hints the word sky, huh? It smells like a grown man, oh my God. This might be one of my favorites. It smells like a man. I just love masculine scents. I'm not sure if this line is like a female fragrance line, but this is definitely very, very masculine. But it's given like cool water, but better. Cool water 2.0. It just smells like I'm the life of the party. I'm here to have fun. I'm coming in and making a statement. Electric Sky was inspired by the essence of freedom. And baby, it's giving off blue skies, free as a bird. It's definitely a unisex scent, but it just smells more manly to me, more woody. I don't know, but it smells super, super, super good. So. Take my word for it. If you want to smell super, super, super good and very, very masculine, unisexy, get this. And for all my perfume people, the top notes for Electric Sky is Blue Sage and Violet. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I haven't got through all five yet, but I can say for sure that Electric Sky is in my top. The next one we're gonna try is Mystic Geranium. I hope I said that right. If not, don't kill me. Mystic Geranium. It sounds mysterious to me. I'm like outsidey. Is that a word? Outsidey? 
It's fresh. What is it? When I smell it, a light green or even like a tan comes to mind. It smells fresh and like airy and clean. Mystic Geranium was inspired by the essence of joy. It's not a bad scent at all. It's definitely not my favorite, but it is very just light and go with the flow. I feel like this might be a good scent to wear after you get out of the shower that's not too loud. It's just real calming and like sensual. For my perfume people, the top notes for Mystic Geranium is Bergamot. Bergamot is one of my favorite scent notes. I feel like it has a little bit of musk to it too. I'm not a real big musk person. Maybe that's why it's not one of my favorites, but it gives like a light musk, almost like a, a light powdery scent too. It definitely doesn't stink, but this isn't one of my favorites. Next, we are going to try Cosmic Wood. It smells like somebody with a lot of money, maybe wearing a cashmere sweater. It's giving off cashmere vibes for sure. Yeah. Kind of like, a, it's giving me luxury hotel vibes too. It smells good. It smells like, it smells like money. When I smell it, it definitely does give me the color brown, just real calm, like browns, tans, beiges, nudes, you guys get the vibe. Cosmic Wood was inspired by the essence of magic. So if you guys need a little magic in your life, get some Cosmic Wood. For all my perfume people, the base for this scent is Smoky Wood, Patchouli, and Sage, so. I feel like it's kind of unisex as well, but it's grown and sexy, laid back, chill, very vibey. Last but not least, we have Sublime Rose. I hope I'm saying that right as well. Sublime Rose. You guys already know, if you don't, I am a very floral girl. I love floral scents. Just from the name of the perfume, I feel like I would associate it with the color pink. So we are about to smell it. I hope this is the best one, in my opinion. Just spray a lot. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Tori Birch. Put magic in a bottle. Oh my God. Oh my. Y'all, no exaggeration. The smell of this perfume. Oh my God. I'm speechless. I am speechless. We gonna get back to how I feel in a minute. Oh my God. This might be my new number one perfume. It smells like heaven on earth. It smells like I'm a super girly girl. It smells like I have a pink protection bubble around me. It smells like I'm the it girl. It smells like I walk in the room and take over everything that's going on. It smells like, what do you have on? What do you have on? What do you have on? Oh, I am at a loss for words. Tory Burch, Tory Burch stepped on next when they made this fragrance. No lie. Tory Burch has officially put me back into my feminine energy. When I smell this, I see sunshine, rainbows. I feel like I'm laying in a bed of pink roses. 
I just feel girly. I'm not even, I am a, I am a sunflower girl. And this fragrance right here makes me love roses more than sunflowers in this moment. Like, who is behind this formula? Who put these scents together? The travel size was $29. The 1.7 ounce was $90. And this is the three ounce one, the 90 milliliter bottle. And it was, got the receipt right here. It was 125, so after tax, it was 134. And I got this from Nordstrom. When I read the ad, they were saying it was exclusively at Nordstrom, so I don't know if it's anywhere else yet, because I got this at least like a month ago, but I wanted to save it to share it with you guys. So go to Nordstrom and get whatever scent tickles your fancy. But for me, it is Sublime Rose. It just smells so good, y'all. I just can't even describe how it smells look at the bottle y'all so cute the tans i love the bottle i did see it on the ad which made me want to purchase it they were kind of all lined up together like this and for some reason this one kept sticking out to me oh my gosh like i'm in love i'm really in love i am in love this is me, I am her, she is me. I am in love, I am in love. This is what love looks like. I did not know, I promise you, I did not know before smelling this scent that Sublime Rose was inspired by the essence of love. Whatever mixologist is behind this scent, they deserve all the praise in the world. I hope that they have the love of their life because they have definitely <sighs> did something to my heart with this smell. Y'all think I am exaggerating. I am not lying. Now this scent might not be for everybody, but if you are a floral girl like me, you will not be disappointed. You won't. Anyways, this was inspired by the essence of love. I told you guys this bottle was $125. This is the 90 milliliter bottle. I can't even put it out of my face. I'm just like, <laughs> right here, right here. The top notes for this one is black currant, rose, of course, and wood undertones. Y'all. And you can smell just that. You can smell a little bit of like warm wood but the roses just pop. And then it's a little bit of the black currant. I can't explain it. I really, really can't. I wish you guys could smell it. I wish I could put this up here and you guys could just get a whiff. The base of this one is Dreamwood and Patchouli. And I love Patchouli. So they really did their thing with this. I am so happy that I blindly made this purchase. No lie. This is literally my new favorite scent. <laughs> And it's more spring and summer, but I'm definitely going to wear it all year long. I feel like on the days when I'm just in a funk that I could literally spray this on and just feel better. This is by far my favorite. My second favorite from this collection is Electric Sky. I love Electric Sky. My third favorite from this collection would be Divine Moon, then Cosmic Wood, and then my last one would be... The mystic geranium they really did a good job with the essence of dreams collection i am gonna have so much fun with this scent i'm gonna get off here and make a tiktok because people really need to know about this like it smells that good and i'm glad that i saved this review to do on camera because this is really raw it is not sponsored at all i am obsessed with perfumes and cologne so i wanted to share this experience with you guys so you guys can get a real raw review I haven't seen any reviews on this line, so I kind of wanted to create a video just in case any of you guys were on the fence about it. I'm happy that I saved this for last because I literally can't think about anything but this smell. Tory Burch really, really made you for me. Match made in heaven. We belong together. 
I just want to thank you guys for making it to this point. I'm sorry if this review was all over the place. I was really trying to keep it short and simple. And then I smelled this. I got all off track. And I really, really, really do apologize. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, take a minute to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next review.